Welcome to the 2020 Lighthouse Challenge. My name is Nick Wood, I'm the site historian up here at Twin Lights, and uh, let's take a look behind the scenes, get you up to the top of the tower, and check out the views from the top. Also, you might learn just a little bit about the history here. Here at Twin Lights, one of the most common questions we get is, why two lighthouses? In that case, the simplest answer is about differentiation. So, for the sailors approaching New York Harbor, they would see us first, long before they would see the other lights, due to our immense elevation and the brightness of our light. And so, the people that plan the lighthouses here want to make especially sure they didn't confuse our lighthouse with other nearby lights. Welcome to our 1909 powerhouse. Behind me, you can see our second order Fresnel lens installed here at Twin Lights in the top of our South Tower in 1898. Measuring nine and a half feet across, it weighs 3,000 pounds and when in motion, did a full revolution in 10 seconds time. Because our lens has two sides, it gives you a characteristic flashlight every five seconds. So for ships approaching New York Harbor, they would have a good sense of where they were thanks to the characteristic light signature of this lens. Welcome to our North Tower Lantern Room. This is a site many people that visit Twin Lights don't get to see. Uh, the reason for that here is in front of you. This is our 1930s airport lamp rated at 500 watts. It can be seen eight miles to sea. This just to give you some sense, that lens you saw down in the powerhouse could be seen 22 miles to sea. All of that good power though is really devoted to one purpose and that is for the ships out to sea behind us. And so for much of American history, major shipping was coming in and out of North Jersey and the New York Harbor ports. And they did that by first passing Sandy Hook here behind us as they round, their, round into the bay and then up into the ship channel. Laid out here before you is Sandy Hook. About halfway up to the left is Spermacetti Cove. You'll be visiting the life-saving station later on our brief tour. Further down the way, you can see the Sandy Hook Lighthouse. It was there to mark the end of the hook and to let mariners know they could safely make it around as they headed into the lower harbor areas. Beyond that, you can see the Verrazano Narrows Bridge today, as well as Staten Island, Brooklyn, and Manhattan. To the far east, you can see portions of Long Island. So now that you've had a chance to explore the lighthouse with me, we can talk a little bit about this boathouse. This is the 1849 Spermacetti Cove Boathouse. It is the very first federal life-saving station constructed. Constructed originally out on Sandy Hook, about halfway down on your left, if you were to drive down that way. It was put up uh, to house all of the life-saving equipment needed by the, the volunteer force that would come to the aid of shipwrecked victims here on the Jersey Shore. Um, you can think of life-saving as the flip side of the coin to lighthouses. Lighthouses will help steer you away from danger, but the lifesavers are there when the tragedy has occurred. Thanks for joining us on our tour of Twin Lights Historic Site. If you're interested in seeing more or learning more about our, our rich history here, you can feel free to contact us either by email or by phone to book a tour.